and someone feels uncomfortable, mm. we can't go to that home. If you have loose dogs and someone on the team is comfortable with dogs and another person is not, we can't go to that home because of safety precautions. So you feared the Trump houses. The people on FEMA were fearing the Trump houses like they were fearing people with, with vicious dogs in their backyard. Exactly. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the f did you just say? Welcome back, thanks for watching. This is one you just have to see. Once again, the so-called dangerous right-wing conspiracy theorists were right, again. Remember back when victims of the hurricanes suggested FEMA was purposely ignoring them and volunteers who said their efforts to save people were being thwarted, both by the National Guard and FEMA. Remember what the discredited, disgraced Democrat state media said in response? As usual, they dismissed it as dangerous right-wing conspiracy theories, which is basically what they say about anything they want to go away, because it appears that the dangerous right-wing conspiracy theorists were correct. It was reported a week ago that a FEMA official had been fired after it was found she was was giving out orders to avoid homes with Trump signs. But that's unsurprisingly not the full story. So FEMA says they fired me, but I still have access to the systems and their applications. And while I was in an interview yesterday, I noticed that my files were being deleted in my name and I, I could not have been doing that while I was talking to Madison. I don't believe you. Continue. The important thing is here, once we start seeing a trend, for example, if they just so happen to have these Trump campaign signs in front of their home and, they, and that, that's the characteristic that's coming along with that, we have to proceed with precaution. So avoidance first and then de-escalation. De and that's the thing. Our superiors know that. We have constant conversations about keep your people safe. If your people are uncomfortable, then just don't go. I'm sorry, what? So, 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 so explain this to me, please. Explain this to me, okay. So I'm just trying to understand what that means. So again, if I'm on a house, if I'm on a street and it has 20 homes mm -hmm. and there are eight, homes on that street with Trump signs mm -hmm. and my team has faced hostility from three of the homes that have signs. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I inform my TFL, my, my direct report. Hey, we're again experiencing hostile encounters. We're moving on to another street. We're not canvassing those homes. So again, only for... And and go, go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, I'm sorry. And, and, the, and that's the directive, too. Like, honestly, he has called me multiple multiple times and says, you, your job is to keep the team safe. I'm sorry, when you it's, say he, who's he? Oh, Chad Hershey. Okay, so who's Chad Hershey? The TFL, that my assigned TFL for this deployment. So Chad, so Chad Hershey has said, instruct, told you what? That if your team is uncomfortable and they do not feel safe, do not go to those homes. Go and, and canvas the other homes. Your job is to keep these people safe. They need to be able to go back home safe. You can't be serious. Can you even begin to imagine the uproar if FEMA refused to go into a neighborhood because they were threatened by the black people? This is just straight up discrimination. And I would be surprised if they're not being sued over it. I totally believe that she was getting orders from the higher ups to avoid homes that supported Trump because these people literally believe that their political opponents are a threat to democracy and literal Nazis who are about to vote for actually Hitler. And like I've said many times in the past, when someone actually believes that, they can justify a lot of extreme actions. But this excuse she gives that FEMA workers are being threatened by Trump supporters brandishing guns is just total bullshit. Nobody waiting to have their lives saved is gonna point guns and threaten the people coming to save them. And it must be said that the media didn't start with these questionable stories about Trump supporters threatening FEMA workers until after people that were victims of the hurricanes started coming forward and saying that FEMA wasn't helping them. Being so close to the election, the media clearly saw fit to demonize and discredit these people as a threat to Kamala Harris. As far as I know, only one backwoods crazy guy got arrested for making threats. Two, it makes total sense to me that this woman felt that she was being backed up by her superiors when she put out these orders for FEMA workers to avoid Trump supporters' homes. Of course, since they fired her, she's now gonna take them down with her, but this is clearly the sort of cover-up that we're used to seeing from the FBI and the US Secret Service. All right, folks, what do you think? Let me know in the comments, and if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I do post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot. Ah!